Hello, welcome to the short and direct video series. This is a video on my recommended, well, maybe not really my recommended, but my own personal settings on Power BI. So the options I, I set in uh, my Power BI settings. Okay, so you go to File and Options, Options and Settings, Options. I don't know why it's taking this long. It should be up now. Okay, great. And you have two major setting categories. You have the global options, and then you have for the current current file you're working on. So, on the, the global options, the first one is data load. By default, this is uh, two zero four two zero nine six. Uh, I have a huge RAM on my PC. I have sixteen gig RAM, and I do a lot of heavy data pulling especially for my reporting i'm a data analysis consultant so i i work a lot more with uh, large files so that's why i can afford to put six gig in there but i have i can't really say so much about the effect i've not noticed any major difference but like i mentioned for me ability to use a lot of resources for my reporting is critical that's why i bought the large amount of ram it's basically for this so i would rather give it to it then you have for the query editor, these are the default settings. If you need to change the way they look, you always want the formula bar to show, uh, you you tick this. Uh, this is for the Power Query. And you know Power Query uses the M, M language, you know, M formula language. Okay, so I would recommend that you leave the default. You know, just like mine is showing, that would be what you will have, except you have your own specific uh, reason for changing them. Then direct query is when you connect in such a way. This is to live, live database uh, most of the time. You connect and you want you want it to run queries directly on the underlying database instead of uh, importing the data into Power BI for your work. So there are some restrictions by default that are there because you know you are querying a live database. It's probably it's usually will them just load some some snapshot, you know, like maybe the first 200 rows, a preview of your data. And the one that concerns us in here is measures. It has a restriction on the number of measures you can create. So if you look at this, it gives you some more data details into it. But if you want to create more than the uh, limited measures it allows you, then you have to untick this. Uh, usually, it's, you're not required, you're, you're, it's usually it's um, recommended not to use direct query because you will face a lot of uh, or a lot of them um, speed issue. I'm going to move on to our scripting. You can connect Power BI to make it import your R scripts and make it run your R script. So this, if you're into that, this is a, um, you might want to do some settings here, maybe make it detect your R ID, maybe use um, R Studio, whichever one you use and you want it to detect your preferred home directory. So this is where you do those settings. Then security, uh, you again, this are about. I will recommend you leave this as a default anyway. But this is the way you do you want to require users to uh, Im impute uh, for approval for every query, any new query, or they should just uh, log in once and afterwards they don't need to be requested for approval, you know, like log in again for every new set of queries. I don't know so much about this aspect. I've not fiddled with them. So I would just say you leave them as the rec default. Privacy also, uh, this is about if you want to set the privacy setting for each data you are connecting with. Do you want to combine the privacy settings across your entire report? Or you want to have the privacy setting for each source you know, left the way they are? and updates this is more about power bi desktop updates right so do you want power bi to to constantly notify you when there's a new update and you know microsoft is constantly rolling out updates on a monthly basis so if you want it to notify you so you can download the the newest update then i will also recommend you leave this turned on usage data do you want to send uh, Microsoft anonymous in usage information. If you, I like to leave this on because if they whatever information they get, they use in improving the tool. So I don't have any 
a problem with that but some people like to turn off any any of this so uh, if if you're one of those people you can turn it off if you if, if you don't mind sharing usage data i mean like something went wrong uh some of those um, system logs that is basically just used for improving the getting a feedback on on the usage of this power bi desktop and what issues typically users will run into with the technical bit anyway diagnostic options I, I don't know why you might want to turn this on but if you're a developer and you want to keep a log of every activity going on with this power bi the desktop then you might want to turn it on preview features so this is another very important uh, aspect of the options like as you can see there are some new tools in your own case all of this will be turned off by default they will all be off so this is what you will have I'm the one who turned them on in my case so I like to have the forecast too I like to I, I this is what I do for a living so it's good that I'm able to check out everything in here and see which one is useful for me which isn't so that's why I have them turn on but on the minimum I will recommend you turn on forecasting you know you never can tell where you need to use it okay and they keep improving on them so turning them on you know, it's a good thing you get to get those extra features auto recovery uh, power bi by itself keeps storing uh, saving kind of auto saving whatever you're doing every 10 minutes even if you don't save so that way if it crashes it allows you to be able to recover so the default is 10 minutes if you much more particular about the number of minutes you can change it you can increase reduce in my case i uh, i left it the at the default this is the one that is particular to your current project right so by default this is what you would have you will have auto detect you will have this turned on and you will have this also turned on so this is what you will have by default for me i find out that when i'm working with a large amount of tables uh, and doing a lot of transformations you know running queries my system the, 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 the whole thing begins to drag to a crawl you know things begin to run really slow until I found out that I need to switch off this data preview so that's why I have this turned on and now I've kind of making my default every time I'm I'm intending to do a new project I come in here I switch off the data preview and also when I'm working with lots of tables Power BI tries to create new relationships and uh, it's a good thing but the problem I have with it is sometimes my tables are not a lot and the relationships it doesn't detect it the way I want and so because it has detected a lot of relationships trying to edit is a lot of work you know it gives me a lot of issues trying to delete and recreate new relationships so now I rather leave I tell it to leave me uh, leave the relationship alone let, let it let it let me do the relationships myself and again I find this very useful if you're working with a lot of tables and you want to have total control on the way the relationships are, are, are being created and uh, the same thing too for that so that's why I have this my settings this way so this is my own recommended setting regional I don't do anything about this it's if you want to change your region privacy again this is specifically specifically for the project as you can see current file and auto recovery too specifically for the project if you want to disable auto recovery but i will recommend you not to and those are my settings those are my own recommended settings again these are personal to me and due to the nature of my work that's why i find these settings uh, appropriate for my work they make things faster for me and just the way i like it so thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you in my other series thank you